Okay, my friends, let me show you the easiest way to find categories. And of course, you have to use a paid tool, Publisher Rocket, formerly known as KDP Rocket. The best tool out there, if you can only have one, make it this one. However, Publisher Rocket is the kind that you have to install on your computer. It is a software. So unlike the KDP Rocket, uh, KD Spy, which is in your browser, sorry, right here. So that's the difference between KD Spy and KDP Rocket or Publisher Rocket. But the big difference is that Publisher Rocket does a lot more. So when you want to find a category, you just go typing around in, let's say you wrote a book about dogs. So notice here, it's showing you ebook and print book categories at the same time. You can see the difference here. It says Kindle store or books. This is invaluable because as authors, we should be writing a Kindle and a print book or publishing, right? We should publish a Kindle book, a print book and an audio book. So this is invaluable. You just type in the words and you get all of the categories and then you can look. So what you're looking for here is something, the ABSR. So this is the sales rank of the number or the top book in this category here, right? So animals, dogs, 1,426, right? That's really low. You're looking for something low like this one, seven. That is incredible. This is seven in all of Amazon. That's crazy. That is just crazy. Okay. So that is very good. Now let's see one, a, a different example here, 23,000. So that's above 10,000. That means that's a low rank. So this isn't a very profitable category because the number one book that's up here, right? The number one book. This is the category, this is the column for number one books. In this category, its rank in Amazon is 23,000. That's not that great, okay? So Kindle store, nonfiction, science and math, biological animals, dogs and wolves is not a very good category to put your book in. So number one, you're looking for something below 10,000. So remember, the lower the number, the higher the rank. So all of these look very good. Here's one at 14,000. That's not that great. The rule of thumb is 10,000. Now, however, this is the second one that you have to look at down here, the, this column, the number 10 book, because <clears throat> that shows you how hard or easy it is to break into that category, right? So if the number 10 book is at 16,000, again, we're looking at 10,000 as the rule of thumb here. That's good because 16,000 is doable, okay? Books, calendars, animals, dogs, that's doable, okay? Uh, here, 77,000 and 5,000. So it seems to be a profitable category. And 77,000, this book is very low, right? The bigger the number, the lower the rank. So the easier it is to beat it. So this one looks like a very good one for your print book, right? Dogs, care, and health. Now, notice the Kindle books will be different. Kindle categories are different. This category might not even exist in Kindle. Okay, notice we don't find care and health here, do we? Oh, doch, care and health, right there. Okay, so, and it's also profitable in the Kindle side. So 2,000 is the top book. 73,000 is the number 10 book. Now, remember, you don't have to put your Kindle book in the same categories as your print book. So it's very smart to use different categories for your print book and Kindle books, right? Spread them out, hit the as many good categories as you want. So let's say you're doing art of, um, science fiction and my book is about artificial intelligence. I don't even have to write intelligence. So, so look at this, shows me automatically the print book 
and Kindle book categories. So at a glance, let's look here first. This, these one, two, three categories look very profitable, 231. Artificial intelligence and semantics, 4,600. That's pretty good, but here, 49,000. 53,000. These two categories here aren't that good, okay? Because the top ranking book is only selling that many books. So looking at this top one here, we now going to this column again, ABSR, the sales rank of the number 10 book, higher competition, 4,000. That means the bottom book or the books you have to beat to get in there are around 4,000, much tougher. These categories look much better, 25,000 of the number 10 book. This category, these two categories should be doable with a brand new book even. You publish your book and then you do some kind of promotion like Buck Books or Katie Roy or, or something else and you should be able to get your book in these categories, okay? And it's interesting, Kindle, Publisher Rocket also shows you how many deals, uh, sales you need per day. Okay, so now what do you do with this? You can make a screenshot. That's the easiest thing to do. But you can also just mark it like this and then copy and paste it. You know, control C or if you're on a Mac, command C. And then go to um, a Google Doc and put it in there. So command V or control C. V and there you go and then and then you can even go you there's it even takes over the hyperlinks so if you're doing research right then I would say artificial intelligence right and you can check out these categories but 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 what's another one let's see virtual reality virtual real oh there's not many for virtual reality here here's one virtual reality but it seems to be a profitable category and easy to break into, okay, with your book. 83,000, you can do that. You could do that probably with a brand new book without even any promotion because that's the number 10 book. So I'm going to, you know, copy and paste these. Yeah, I think I'll take both, okay. Uh, command C and put them in here also. Command V, okay. So then later on, you can sort, you know, Google Google Docs is so cool. You can sort this stuff and do all this stuff. And then you find the best categories for your book. And remember, you can add your book to up to 10 categories. Okay. So I just hit the check it out button. And then you can go here and check it out, of course. And if you're doing this before you publish your book, then you can also look at the covers and look at what other people made and look at what you're going to do different and better than these guys. Look at the guys with the um, the top books. Look at that, he's got 138 reviews. So then you could look at the reviews and see you know, what people said about it, if that book is similar to what you want to make, right? So this is how you research a category. Preferably you do this before you even start your book, okay? And then you, you, you use a tool like Publisher Rocket, which is the best ever. And you find your profitable categories, ones that you think, you know, you want to target. And then you go to those categories. You look at the books and you say, okay, well, look at these books. None of them have an orange cover, a little bit. How am I going to stand out on the page? And at the same time, how am, am I going to make the readers know that it's the book they want? You know, you don't want to get weird like, uh, where is this guy here? Raspberry Pi. Okay, he's making a joke about it, right? So maybe people would understand that. Visual Force Development Cookbook. This is, looks like a terrible cover, right? That's just, just somebody put a whatever. So you want to stand out on the page, and then you can look at the other books. And this is reconnaissance. So let's say you wanted to do a blockchain book. You would go here and look at the three-star reviews and the two-star reviews and the four-star reviews, not the one-star reviews and the five-star reviews, because one-star reviews are people that, just haters. Five-star reviews, maybe, but these usually don't say anything interesting. But the three-star reviews and four-star reviews, then you might learn something 
And then this is feedback. So you look at all of these reviews and then you make sure that you make your book better, right? So that's the basics of finding categories for your book. Check it. And then in Amazon, you can just click on the three stars, right? So this is where you get the good feedback. Not bad, but not great. And then they might tell you, you know, what, you know, what, what's missing. So you put that in your book. And this is really, really helpful for nonfiction. Maybe for science fiction, not as bad. But the point is, this Publisher Rocket tool makes it so easy. It's just crazy, you know. Find the ones you like, put them in a spreadsheet, or just make a screenshot, and then you put these in your Kindle dashboard when you're publishing your book. And it's really awesome because then you could you can really tell, for example, virtual reality, there is no print book category for that. But there is for artificial intelligence. You know how long it would have taken me to find that out by going to Amazon and going back and forth and back and forth between Kindle and print book categories. It's just crazy. And here you have it. Dave Chesson really did his homework. He really did a good job on this tool because this tool is getting straight from Amazon, this data, it's, it's got the API is what they call it. They, it's getting into the back end of Amazon through the API. And so this is the real data straight from Amazon. It doesn't get better than this, folks. So, and it doesn't get easier either. So what book are you, let's say you want to do keto diets or just diets, or I don't know. I don't know much about diets. So keto, ketogenic, right? Check, 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 check. There you go. Books, print books, and Kindle stores. Look at this. Keto is really hot right now. I know that because I'm from California and Tim Ferriss started this kind of, and so it's crazy popular right now. And look at these books. None of them are over 2,000. That means these guys are making bank, right? So, and they're very competitive. Look at the rank of the number 10 book in that category, 650. That is not a good category for a beginner. You're not going to get in there unless you really, really, really bust some chops and marketing and list building and promotions, stuff like that. But you might make it in the Kindle side at 18,000. That's, that's kind of tough, but doable. So what is that? Kindle books, nonfiction, cookbooks, food, special diet, ketogenic. That's really not that competitive for the number 10 book. So you could do that. You can forget the print side with ketogenic, but definitely put your Kindle book in the ketogenic one. So here's another one that's not that bad. Let's check it out. And you see that I also have this tool, this fist right here. It's called DS Amazon Quick View. You put that in your browser and you can see the ranks of any product in Amazon, not just books, but products, CDs, uh, mufflers, cards, whatever, any, anything in Amazon, it will show you this. So here's that number one book, 1,410 paid in Kindle store. That's the number one book in this category. And here's the number 10 book at 17,961. Okay. So you want to get into the top 20 around here, 27,000. So this is a good category. You could probably make it in there with a brand new Kindle book and just a little promotion. So that's how you use Publisher Rocket to choose categories. I highly suggest putting them in a spreadsheet and then uh, titling that. And I super duper highly recommend this tool. If you want to be a serious author, you've got to get the tools, right? Uh, a hunter has a scope on his rifle and you need a scope on your rifle. That's all there is to it. Uh, I have them both, obviously. Katie Spy right here and, and Publisher Rocket because they're not expensive. So just get them both. And then if you don't like installing software on your computer, then use Katie Spy. But you really can't beat Publisher Rocket. There's just no way to beat it. <laughs> it's the best. All right, enough on that, my friends. Hoppala.